Okay, so I can barely contain my excitement because I already went through it and it's so cute. Okay, so now I'm at 1404 Southwest 17th Avenue. Hold on, let me make sure I'm saying that right. Yes. And this is much quiet, quieter of a neighborhood. It's not right off the main street. Trafalgar's down here a little bit. Really nice houses in the neighborhood. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you this street. And okay, there's another one 400 feet down there. And then there's another one uh, about 400 feet down here to the left. But this one that I'm facing at down here is 338. This one is 322, 800, and it is so cute. It's got all the light fixtures, it's been set up and staged, so you can get an idea of um, how cute you could make it. So again, here's the den. Love how they have the entryway set up. And this one, they did like the gray subway tile backsplash and it's so cute. So this shows you can fit a pretty good sized dining table here. Nice size living area. And the laundry room. Love those dark cabinets. The gray subway tile backsplash looks really nice. And the pantry. Now I'll go into the master. King size bed with plenty of room for your end tables. And a chair. View of your pool. Water. The bathroom. Excuse the way I look today. And then, again, a nice shower, toilet room. And this shower is the same as the other one. Based on location, I think this is a better location because it's quieter. It's not right off the main road. The house is around it. A little bit nicer, in my opinion. Okay, where's the light? Big walk in closet. So, this is the exact same build as the other one. So cute. Okay, now let's go outside. Love the open concept. Again, pocket sliders so you can bring the outside in. It's a good size entertaining space. You're gonna get another new construction right next to you so that's just gonna keep holding your property value. Cape Coral is booming. Coronavirus has nothing on Cape Coral. Okay. So this is, again, the neighborhood. There's some really nice houses around here. Not quite as big of an incline, but look what your neighbor did. That is so cute. It's like a... Oh, it almost looks like a captain's walk. And all of the houses that are for sale on this canal have signs saying golf access. So for what that's worth, it 
it's not just this builder who's marketing it. I guess there's only one way to find out. Hop in a boat and head to the Gulf. Very cute house. Okay, so now I'll go to the other side. This is looking pretty inviting. Gas bath, same setup as the last one. Bedroom, and these have fixtures. And bedroom. Now, in my next video, actually, maybe I can just stay on this video, if you can bear with me, and I'll just walk down and show you a little bit of the neighborhood and that other house. Um, and while I'm walking, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the taxes. So this, these houses have not been assessed as structures yet. So the current taxes are on vacant lot. So those are gonna go up and I can do a tax estimator for you online and one thing to remember is um, the city of Cape Coral has mandated public water and sewer. And the good news is this property is on public water and sewer already, which means you won't have to put up with the mess. They're doing it in my parents' neighborhood of Southwest Cape right now, and they've been doing the um, construction for like a year. It's a messy, ooh, I have to get a clipping of that. Song of India. Everything grows down here if you're into gardening. But anyway, so the taxes will go up uh, according to the value of the home in the neighborhood. And I'll do that estimation for you when I get home. But there's a $7,500 balance on the assessment. So that's typically something that transfers with the property. Um, but we can always try to negotiate it. So every time we look at a property, I need to go on and figure out um, if there's an assessment balance and what it is. So you can consider that. I love this cultured stone. A lot of them are doing that now. Okay, so here's the other one. 1312. Now this one's listed at 336. Let me make sure. 339. Hmm. All right, let's see why. Okay. So this is a different layout. Okay, it looks like it's flip-flopped and the den is open as like a formal dining room. And then no pocket sliders. Same size kitchen, really. It doesn't feel any bigger. No backsplash. Love this furniture. Nice view. The living room actually feels a little bit smaller here. So a lot of their space is in this front room here. I do like the master though. Doesn't feel any bigger. In fact, I think that's a queen bed. Yeah, that's a queen. So actually this feels smaller, 
but the closet uh, is bigger. And shower's bigger. Real nice shower. And then toilet room. Huge walk-in closet. Like this could be a bedroom. And then also a linen closet. The bathroom's real nice, but I don't see why it would be $20,000 more. I don't see that value in it, but I haven't been outside yet, so let's see. Oh, weren't the other pools square? Okay, here's a little bit of a sun deck over here. That's nice. Nice size lanai. This has a larger under truss um, lanai area here. So you're at the end of the canal here. I'll tell you what, that one we were just in, I think that one's nicer for what you're getting for the price. Okay, okay. so now I can walk down um, the street the other way. I'm going to start uploading this video for you while I'm on my way down there. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.